Hello everyone, this is Pixel here and today we're gonna be taking a look at something really cool I built using command blocks. Did you ever feel like converting your comparator output to a clear message readable in the chat? No? Well, I created a method to do that anyway. Everything you have to do therefore is to smash that button over here and get a nice little output. So the way this works is fairly simple. Everything this button does is deactivating the torch so the comparator can give his output. Then the repeaters here will get powered based on how strong the signal of the comparator is. If you have a signal stretched of 5 or more, these command blocks will be triggered, telling the redstone structure below that it has to remove all of the stone blocks up here, so the other command blocks can't be triggered by the other repeaters anymore. The redstone down here waits until even the last repeater has to be deactivated and places the stone blocks again to make the construction reusable. So that's about how it works. Let's crack straight on with the tutorial. So first we want to place our chest, wherever we want to have it, or the thing that gives you the comparator output. Then we place a comparator to it, like this, and a block with a button, a torch, and some redstone dust. Now we have, um, just depending on how many of these blocks we want to have, I'm just... I want to have three different output strengths just for the tutorial so it's easier to create and we just place some blocks down here three by three and we place some repeaters um, in our case three rows of repeaters are enough to increase the delay of the repeaters incoming at these blocks by two for every repeater so if we want to, if we have it like two more here one two three four more here so there has to be a delay of two ticks then we place our stone blocks at that position and we place some command blocks here 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 and on top so the command blocks on top are the ones which actually give the chat output so if we want to have it say um, the strength is 3 um, here we're going to have it for 2 and here we want to have it for 1 and these command blocks place a redstone block exactly there which then instantly gets destroyed and set to 0 which means air um, so it sends just a very short pulse which destroys all of these blocks um, to prevent the other ticks to arrive and power these command blocks. So um, I'll just create the platform down there. One, two, three, four, like this. Then one over here and one over there. Yes, yes. Um, then we want to have one command block here and just some blocks like there which are three and because there will be three command blocks which destroy the stone up there then we want to have some delay uh, you actually need for one of these button for, for one wooden button you need a delay of six um, six fully delayed repeaters three four five then six then we want to have our command box here three again and I think it's time to write the commands. Um, I'm just going to copy them. It's a set block command which sets at a relative coordinate of x minus 1, y minus 3 and z minus 1 a redstone block which is there and we have to copy it for here but we increase the minus or the negative value of the x-axis and finally we just copy this one which destroys the block next to it or sets it to minecraft colon air because um, the IDs won't be supported in the near future um, now we just add the destroy command 
which just um, sets the block, sets the stone blocks, which are five blocks above these command blocks, to air. And then we repeat it for up here, but we set it to stone so it gets resetted again. And we set the Y de delay to 3. And that already should be about it. If I do it like this, there is no output actually. But if I have it like this, it says the stretch is 1. That's great. But unfortunately that's everything I've got time for today folks, so if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys, this has been Pixel and I'm out, I'll see you later.